Right, folks. Back on to a new one here. Now, same as usual. Uh, this is a 8x10 piece. Slightly, slightly larger than the 8x10, just to allow for gluing it onto a board. And it is on a, um, what's that, extra fine cotton canvas. And I've done a little drawing of it here, of my landscape. Right, so, I'm going to be using the wipe off method today again, my favourite method. I'm just going to lay down a, an underpainting. Okay, so a good bit of spirits. I want a nice thin mix. Alright, so let's see. Now, uh, these uh, hills and mountains and whatnot are, are in the distance, so I'm after a, a greyish blue here. Just a touch grey, not, not too much. And uh, let me see, just as a maybe a bit too dark a little bit of a uh, liquid in it there just a okay so now what i have here in my hand at all times or this is a little uh bit of kitchen roll and all i'm doing with it is i'm uh, wiping it off and it's to create textures underneath. As I'm moving across here, a little bit darker, a little bit bluer. Okay, along here. No point in being careful at this stage. It's too early to show too much care. But I mean, don't be frivolous either. You're still trying to create the idea of something here. <clears throat> ba -ba -ba -bum -bum. Okay, now. Let's oh, we change the brush just and I'll get in some some sky here. And I'm using the liquid here just for uh sort of dries very quickly for me. That's all. Maybe a little bit grayer than that. Only a touch. I'm not after. I'm uh, <clears throat> a, a grey sky today. Oops. Okay. So far, All right, folks. Now, let's get in the. Uh, I'll put in the foregrounds here, so a, a grey green along the foreground here. Now I'm going to have to put out some yellow. <laughs> some yellow and some uh, strong green, that's thalo green that I'm on here. A little bit of raw umber, a little bit of rockside red, just to really grey this out. A little bit of black in it today too. I don't want it, uh, I want a nice grey green at the front here. Okay, so a little bit of this, a little bit of that, and just place it down. Dancing the brush about, folks. Creating red spots and green spots and orange spots for variations. Now, I want it a bit thinner than that. I'm not happy with its consistency, its viscosity. 
So there we go. Now, see him again. Just up, 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 up. And creating. Well, these underpaintings are done very, very quickly. <coughs> now, what I what you can do is, if you wish, you can uh, you can carry on painting. But I normally walk away for ten minutes, go and have a coffee or something. But that's what I do. <coughs> right. I'm going to work on the base of this tree here. Or oh, this line of trees, you should say, sorry. I probably could do with it being a bit less blue here. A little bit bluer over on this side here. I've got a wee bit of a house here and just sitting here. I'm going to be using. Okay, no. <coughs> now I'm not being too careful, but I'm still in mind of what I'm doing, folks. That's it's important that you you keep your overall goal in mind. So let's just wipe a good bit of this off. Get those textures. I already up here. It's all all but dry. Very quick. Um, let me see now. So I'm going to I'm going to just lay down a bit of a bit more of a base on this here, just along here. Same along here. See, this is already. I mean, I'm literally just just added here, and it's already I'm uh, tacking up very quick. And I've added a little bit of the sky color in it because it's a little. It's in the distance, and that will um, uh, mess it out a little bit for you. And give you some atmosphere between you, the atmosphere between here and this one, and so it'll it'll create a, a distance as well as as creating. And whenever I get the chance, I'll create a plane there. <coughs> now I'm just going to stick in the um uh, the house here just to. Now what color? I'll make it a gray, gray red color. At least for now. Right across here. <laughs> okay. And all this is, is just a simple, um, uh, Just putting the idea of it in for now. <clears throat> okay. Right, now I'm going to want to darken the mountains a little bit. And it will be this is my darkest dark. And these will be my mid tones. But I want to judge the sky. I want to get a bit of the sky in. 
So I'm going to put those in so that I can do such a thing. A little bit of red in it. I need, probably need to put out a little bit more of the blue, but let me see for now. Is that, it's a bit too dark. It is. I'll use this red here, it'll help grey it out a touch as well. There we go, that's a bit better. Nice grey blue there. Just jumping the brush all over the place just to create, help keep and create some texture in it. I think it's a bit, I think it's a bit dark. So I'm just going to, to blend it up in the, uh, on the part of the canvas. Just uh, around the edges at least, leave the, the center of it a bit darker. Just, that's all. Now, <coughs> and we're moving back a little bit so that that I'd put down there, just a little bit later version of it. As I say, I'm putting this down to, um, uh, to give me the idea let me see, I'm just I'm talking to myself, but I need that to be a little bit brighter. I'm putting this down to give me the idea of where I want the clouds and of how bright I want them up in this sky here. No. I think it's too bright now. Just a bit. It's easy, easily darkened as well. While it's still wet, I can just come along and, and add the pieces to it. There, look at that there. And I'm still keeping it... Um, I want to reshape the base of these trees. Remember folks, this is all um, uh, trial and error, if, if that's the way to put it. I'm not sure if that's the way to put it, but you'll see what needs doing and you do it. You know, I, I created the base of these before, the base of this tree before, and then Wiped it out by doing my previous job, so just come along and re-establish this base. All right, now.
No, that sits at the front there, folks. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -bum -bum. Now, so I'm going to establish the house a bit better here. I'm not happy with it. I'm not sure if I'm happy with the position of it. What I'm going to do is I'm going to bring it down a bit. Yes, I think what I'll do is just drop the, the ceiling of it a bit here, or the, the, the ceiling, the roof of it a bit here. Uh, I'm just going to, I'll say that again because I, I felt myself drifting off there in, inside. Just going to drop the, the roof of it a little bit, make it a bit more shallow. Okay, and I just, that peak is annoying me here, as all it is. Alright, just getting rid of that peak, it was annoying me. And this one here too, it's too sharp. Right across it there. No fear of it, folks. Just put it in. All right. Right now. Now let me see where I am here. I want to rack the base of this a little touch. Yeah, let's, let's get that a little bit more established there. Um, just so that I have a sense of what's going on. Now, I want to, to work on this house. So, let's do it then. I'm just going to establish it, that's all. Small roof. shallow roof and the edges of it will most likely be hidden by trees okay, nice wide building too and uh, I'm unsure about the color of it as well I'm looking for harmony here so maybe just make it a gray building let me see here I don't know, but I get the feeling that I want it to be a little bit of a shallow building, like um, not, not a high building. But that may change as time goes on. At least for now, I'll just leave that as is. At least I now have a, a background for it. Now where's my little, my little brush? There we go. Now what I'm after is just to establish the odd detail. Here and there, I want this tree here to be, I want different planes in this, it'll be a better way of putting it. So I'll have different levels on the painting. And you can establish as a couple of ways. Right, one of the ways you can do it is to the the base of the tree. You can bring it forward or down a little bit, which pulls it forward in the painting. Or you can re-establish the horizon line here and cut it a few times here and there to create different planes. Right, okay. A little bit of blue in it. Cool it down just a touch.
Nice and textury. I want to put a little bit of. Yeah, what do I want to put a little bit of? And I'm not kind of happy with the lighting of this at the minute. I want to make this brighter in here. I'm just, yeah. So I'm just going to throw caution to the wind here and brighten this up. Just, it just isn't bright enough for me. I want it, as I said earlier, that the light is somewhat omnidirectional, but it's still there, it's still coming. Coming from the top and it is light in the ground and I'm not putting it in to do such a thing. Just let me check there and make sure. I may be brighten this up a touch. Hmm. Hmm. Now that is more like it, yeah. Just got a bright area I want right across here. There we go. I need to work that on a little bit. Bringing it down to here, just a touch. Just working it all together and trying to make it seem that it's all one. Blending it in, as it were. Right back. I'm gonna go back to the roller here and add a little bit of color at the base here. Now where did I put it? There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah I do. I do like the effects of a roller. I do. Right, what I want to do is just work that in a little bit, clean this off, and then. Um, sorry for the rustling of the of the kitchen roll there, but it needs doing, and I just want to work this in a touch. Now I'm not saying that I'm I'm done. In fact, I'm not done. I'm going to go over that again with another green. Yes, back and forward, folks, back and forward. That's the, the beauty of it. It's my love for it is that it's just doing it. Now a little bit of uh, a little bit of green. I wanted a green, 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 but not not too green. Okay. <coughs> Excuse me. Right, now I'm coming down into it this time. You know what, you can barely notice that, so I'm going to make it a bit brighter. Sometimes the roller just doesn't want to roll for you. That's okay. It'll roll on this. There we go. It's rolling now, okay. <laughs> wonderful. Wonderful textures. Gives it a wonderful look. There we go. 
Right, now I'm going to, I'm going to clean this because I have a tendency to walk away and leave those. I've got about four or five rollers sitting there that, uh, that have all seized up. Right, now I'm going to just, while I'm here, and I have it all on my brushes, I am going to um, uh, work just on the highlights of these, just here. And um, and just here and here and here and here and here. Okay. Not not doing it too much. They're just highlights, folks. Remember that. All of this, of course, like it all, it'll be knocked back as I'm about to do in a, in a moment. And because it's still wet, it will mix with what's down. Now, Creating some definition just. Now I want my little dry brush. Ah, it's not big enough. Where is my thing with jigs? Here, this will do. Nice and soft. Did I put? No, I didn't. <laughs> I had f forgotten to put in the lights at the base of this. And I still have them. Um, uh, the shadows to put in the. the, the the darker shadows of the the trees here. There's nothing left to do but go our separate ways and pick up all the pieces left behind us. <clears throat> that needs to be a bit brighter, I think. I can barely see it myself. While I'm here, I think I'm just going to put in the uh, the shadows now. So a bluey green here. And cool shadows as well. Now the darker the shadow, for the most part, obviously all of these, all of this is dependent on on the scene. But for the most part, the darker the shadow, the brighter the light. Like everything, there are always exceptions to to rules. Although at the minute it's eluding me what exception that would be, would, would be the exception there.
it's one thing that I have a tendency to do is to make the shadows too thick and I mean too thick this way up and down that should be a thinner shadow And I will make it a thinner shadow. Just like so. Easy. Easy peasy. Now, I'm going to say that this, for me, this is a, it's not quite done yet. There's still a good bit of work to do on it, the uh, snow on the mountains needs doing. I need more definition in the trees. Um, I want maybe put in a little cow here and there, you know. Um, and I, I want to fix up that house, just a, just a bit. To be, uh, I'm not going to be too cautious with it. I just want you to see that it has some of those those white markings that cows carry. Right, now what I do want here is a bit of highlight, so I'm going to need uh, Sharper brush. Okay, just a little bit of highlight on the white. Okay. All right. Now, I you want it to softly, softly, softly work this in but I think it's barely touching this folks don't want to ruin it there we go that'll do now let me see um, this part of the mountain here I think I want to to deal with that In this part here I just think that it could do with being a bit brighter than what it is at the minute. So, let's make it a bit brighter. Huh? Right, let's see, is this brighter? It is a bit. Um, is it too bright? I think it might be a bit too bright. No, it's not. And while I'm at it, may as well just add a little bit here as well, just as a wee adjunct, just the, the add to it a little bit. Okay, now, 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 what I want to do, what I want to do is add uh, just some branches here and there. 
I, I, I think I'm. I think I'm all but done here, folks. On this one. Let me see here. <laughs> and my hands are, are a bit dirty so I can't lean on the painting because it's dry up there. So I'll have to get out my wee trusty cup hook holder. Right, I think the only thing that I need to do now is center these, or not center them, uh, put a, a bit of darkness in this here, just along here, nice and shallow. to do every time I got it have a little bit more to do a little bit more a little bit more now the idea here is that you look at the curve it takes you up into the house you come up and around here up and around the clouds bring you back down again that's the idea whether it works or not well that's an entirely different thing I think just this house here is, is annoying me today I think I'm just keep making the same mistake on it. There, oh, that's a bit better. It's way off in the distance. Shouldn't be paying too much attention to it. It's part of the painting, but it isn't the painting. If you know what I mean by that. Just soften them a little bit. There we go. And I keep thinking that I'm done. And then I keep seeing what else I could do. And I think that I am nearly done. I just want to do a little bit of rolling here, so I'll do. Let me see what. Maybe a bit, um, a bit more red. Let me see. Okay. That's just a tester now. Right, so. I'm gonna put this on and then I'm gonna dab it off with some kitchen towel. Just along here. Just to help create the, the idea of mud underneath these grasses here. And like I say, just going to maybe maybe not need to dab it off, but we'll have a wee look in a moment or two. 
No, I'm, I don't think I'm going to dab that off. No, happy enough with that. That gives me the idea. You see, it's creating a little vignette here. Then the vignette of the clouds coming around here, encapsulating the whole thing. And nice textures too. Okay, folks, that'll do for today. And that, that's it. So if you could, oh, I forgot to take the tape off. Right, let's do that. And while I'm taking this off, if you could please like and subscribe, it helps a lot. Watch a little bit more of the videos if possible. Some good stuff to learn in it. Um, uh, if you're on the way out to the shops, just stick it on in the background and away you go. Let it, pl let it play on a playlist or something. It all helps with the algorithm. So like I say, if you could, like and subscribe. Right folks, that's that. So thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Oh, let me just straighten this up a little bit. There we go. I'll see you all in the next one. Bye for now. Oh, literally just a minute, folks. I've only been away for a moment. Can't stay away from you. I forgot to put a little bit of the, the ground in the, in the cow here.